All right, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Melton here, and today, stop whatever it is you're doing right now, because I'm gonna be highlighting a movie that you should absolutely check out. I'm talking about Zachariah from 1971. This movie's awesome. It's technically a Western, was deemed to be the first electric Western, and it features a bunch of awesome 60s and 70s bands. You got the James Gang, Country Joe and the Fish, it's even got Elvin Jones, the drummer, Don Johnson from uh, Miami Vice, a whole bunch of other crazy people they probably found wandering around Los Angeles in 1970. Just get a load of this opening sequence, which features the James Gang in the middle of the desert. He's playing a loose set guitar. This video will absolutely get copy striked, robbing us of all of the sweet ad revenue, but I don't even care because I have to show you this. Here's some of the original trailer. Zachariah, the first electric western. Call out. of his time. Right on. <laughs> All right. Call this dumb, stupid noise music. You weirdos are all alike. I don't have any quarrel with you, mister. Basically, you got two friends that want to be gunfighters. Opening sequence, he gets his brand new pistol in the mail, complete with bullets. He's figuring out how to use it. I dug into it a little bit, and the film is loosely based on Herman Hesse's novel, Siddhartha surrealistically adapted as a psychedelic musical western. This is a great movie to watch if you're looking for something a little bit different. One of my favorite scenes is when Job Kane, played by Elvin Jones, who he's basically the top gunfighter in the West. Everyone's just hanging out. The house band is actually the James Gang is jamming in a saloon. This random guy comes in to challenge him to a gunfight. And I'm just gonna roll the clip, check out what happens after he... What are you waiting for? No, no, Sonny. Don't Sonny me, you bastard. And who is this wants to get himself killed? What are you doing up here anyway? You should be home with your mother on the farm, taking care of the pigs and cows. Enough talking, boy! Draw!
This movie was so unusual that upon its release, it recorded a loss of about one and a half million dollars. So that explains why you may have never heard of it. If you want to check it out, I put a link down in the description for you guys to watch the full movie for free right here on YouTube. I found out about it as a little kid. It was actually one of my dad's favorite movies. He had the original VHS. I couldn't watch it until I was a little bit older because there are a few adult themes in there, but there is a character named Matthew in the movie and it's been theorized this may have played some role in the inspiration to name me Matthew, so fun fact right there for you. The plot does drag a little bit in some spots, so I'm going to give it four out of five stars. Check it out, link to the free movie in the description. Let me know if you've ever seen this, what you guys think, and we will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.